Hello, Hoppington Middle School, and welcome to another episode of HMS Today. I'm your host, Anju Valor. First off, thanks for the email suggesting segments. Keep them coming. Now we'll start things off with our regular, re regular middle school update. Today we have Mrs. G Grady, so take it away. Good morning, everyone. I would like to share with you our new mission statement, growing an active community of strong minds and kind hearts. So how did this come about? Teachers got together and came up with the following important themes, community, inspiration, positivity, creativity, and challenges. From these, our mission came to life. One way we put this into action was to have Katie Hutchinson visit and tell us about the importance of positive synergy, collaboration, and forgiveness. These are some of the things we will believe will make our mission come alive. So now we would like your input on how to get this done. How do you visualize this in school and in the Hopkinton community? As you can imagine, we are far from finished. Our vision committee meets Wednesdays from 2 to 3. Come join your fellow students and teachers to help shape our school's vision. Please email me if you are interested. Your contribution will have a lasting impact on our school. And next up, we have another of our interview segments. This time, let's spend a minute with you from Mrs. Daniel. I wanted to become a teacher because I think it's great to be able to work with kids. Every day is different, and every day is so much fun. And if I can help kids, I love it. I learn a lot from my students. I learned how to dab from my students, not Mr. Carney. And I've also learned from my students just how to be caring towards others. We have a great school student population here in Hopkins Middle School. History is the backbone to every single subject. And it's so much fun to learn about, but even more fun to teach. And I certainly love to teach about early man because of course we get to talk about Mr. Carney's prom date. Very nice. And those who email suggestions for other people, stay tuned. And now it's time for Mr. Rockwood, but not for trivia. Have you ever been inspired to write a letter to your favorite author? Well, now's your chance. Mrs. Norby, our school librarian, invites you to enter a writing contest for young adult readers called Letters About Literature. This year's theme is, how did an author's work change your view of the world or change you, yourself? Please check your email this morning for more information or contact Mrs. Norby directly in the school library. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood, and good luck with that writing contest, everyone. So, still looking for some trivia? Okay, here you go. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of today's Trivia Tibbet. I do have some assistance. The art form of dance originated from ancient Greece in the third century. The word muffin was first used in 1703. It was originally spelled muffin, M-O-O-F-I-N, and comes from the German word for small cake. That's all that Mr. Rock would be have for you today. Coming up next, our regular feature, question of the day. Today's question is, what acts of kindness mean the most? Um, new video games, Snapple, free Snapple, and the free cookie. Number one would be holding the door open for someone. It's so important. Number two is making sure you say hello to people in the hallway. We don't do that enough. We walk by with blank looks on our face. And the last act of kindness is just helping out our fellow classmates and fellow teachers. Complimenting people on their musicallys. Helping other people, <laughs> smiling at other people, and treating other people nicely. Kindness. Smiling when other people push the button in the elevator for you. I think probably the ones that are that happen every day. So, yeah. When someone helps you when you need help, sharing, being kind, and helping others. The um, unexpected acts of kindness are the ones that matter the most. Someone holding the door for you. Um, someone. Um, saying good morning in, in the morning and really meaning it and wishing you a good day. Um, or someone simply, like my husband, fixing all the things I break. Personally, I like free candy. Now let's have our new feature, HMS Polls. For this week, we asked you how many hours per day do you spend on a computer? 
The largest response we got was one hour per day. That was 13 of you. Next with nine people was two hours. Five people said zero. Really? Then four people said four hours and three people said three hours. What were the chances of that? And now birthdays. Except no one has a birthday today. All right, better luck next week. That brings us to our latest segment, Have You Seen This? Here was the image, and we thought this was going to be tough, and I guess it was. Congratulations to Haley Tolson, who found it outside room 259. Drop by the HMS TV studio after school tomorrow to get your prize. Everyone else, are you looking for the next Have You Seen This? Visit our website in order to see the picture, and then start looking. Make sure you look for the due date. That's a wrap for this episode. Check us out at agecam.tv slash HMSTV or send us comments, suggestions, and complaints to our email HMSTV at Hillers.org. That's the address to send us your Have You Seen This entry and to ask us to come visit your club. On behalf of everyone here, we'll see you next week with more new stuff. Now get out there and study hard. Here we go again. One, two, three. I would like to, can you start from the beginning again? And welcome to another episode. Okay, come on. You lost your shoe? I don't know what's wrong, okay. Mr. Rockwood, but not for tri trip. That's all the Mr. Rockwood? Wait, what does that yeah, mean? Yeah. Okay, let's do this again. Here we go. Got this down.